Well, Dave, um, yesterday you told us that Gavin's Stone is going to be making start today, pushing the first shot back to Friday. So what is... Oh. It's going to be Saturday. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so Bobby is going to start on Friday, and then uh, Clay will start on Saturday. Okay. So then that technically would then be kind of like a true, if this was a start day, I guess kind of the five days. And so what does this week uh, then look like for Clay Kershaw? Um, it, it's... Uh, he is going to throw a, uh, a bullpen, a heavy bullpen tomorrow, um, and then which will get him online for Saturday. So he feels good. Um, every day he feels better after his last start. Um, like I said the other day, just kind of getting him that Saturday start kind of sets things up uh, in, the four, in the forthcoming weeks. Um, he's in a good spot, he really is. And um, as far as today, we've got Gavin Stone here. He'll be making a start. His last one was against the, the Red Sox, which he threw the baseball well. Um, then, uh, real quick, um, Suoro ended up going on the IL. Wanda Suoro, little back tightness. Um, so the move for Gavin Stone is Suoro and uh, not paternity for Yarborough. So Yarborough's not here, but he's not on paternity. So uh, you're a player short today? Uh, we're a player short. With Clayton, I know you had, when you talked about last night, you said it just, it wasn't injury related. It just kind of made sense for right now. Why was that the case? Why did it feel like right now it's a good time to give him just, I guess, this now will be able to see anybody do it? I just think that, I don't think that rest um, at this point is harmful. Um, and talking to uh, the training staff and also just being able to kind of give him the best chance to make a full start and going forward lining him up. Or lining up kind of what his starts the rest of the year will be? Correct, or correct, the, correct. And then yeah. doing it this way, he would have been on four days rest, I guess, had he that's pitched right. today. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. And also just appreciating keeping Bobby online, Lance online, and things like that, where Lance is going tomorrow. So all that stuff kind of played into kind of the calculus. How did his pen, I think you threw it in Miami, go? And kind of, what are some of the things from what you understand that he's working through, even just mechanics delivery-wise on top of the shoulder? I, I think a lot of it is uh, mechanics, delivery, how overall body, how it feels. Um, you know, obviously with, with pitching it's so finite and the movements and uh, when something is off there's obviously compensation with the body which ultimately changes some of the mechanics um, I just talked to him earlier today he says he feels really good the arms working well so for me um, I feel even better today about playing than I did yesterday uh, and better than I did two days ago so uh, the hope is tomorrow he'll his pen will be better than it was the other day and uh, I expect him to make a full start, you know, come Saturday. How confident are you guys that the velo will go back to normal? And how important is that for just performance-wise for him the rest of the year? I'm very confident. Very confident. Um, and I think with anything, it just increases margin. Um, he was fine uh, in Miami without the velo, but I still believe that with the rest uh, and kind of cleaning up some things, the delivery, uh, the velo, the characteristics of all of his pitches will be back in line with normal. Was he pretty on board with this, or did you guys have to kind of coax him into taking this long of a break between starts? Um, I think there might have been a little prodding and coaxing um, because a guy like him, he never wants to get a start pushed back. Um, but I think that he understands that this is uh, best in the short and the longer term for him. Longer term, does this allow you to line up Bobby, Clayton, and Lance for the best possible playoffs? You know, in theory, yeah. In, in theory, yeah. And, and what we do with these guys uh, still uh, remains to be determined in all the other guys, but in theory, yeah. Was it always going to be Saturday with him, or did it change from Friday to Saturday? Just to um, I thought original was going to be Friday, and kind of thinking through with our pitching guys, Saturday made most sense. Whose decision whether to remove Julio's locker? Um, I think that was an organizational thing. I, I, I just actually found out about it five minutes ago. Um, so I, I didn't know, and um, it's it's sad. It, it, it really it, it's sad on on every level. Um, so I just learned about this.
I assume you haven't talked to him at all since. Yeah. Or does that decision make it clear to the team we're moving on? Um, I think so. I mean, it's, I, I think that's kind of where we're at right So I just, I, there's really not much for me to comment on the fact that uh, it's just like I said in, in the first day, it's just it's a very, very unfortunate, sad situation. How's the uh, Peralta doing today? David's doing uh, better, uh, much better today. Still got the same marks uh, on his elbow, but he'll he'll be available off the bench, uh, and he'll be in the lineup tomorrow. After uh, yesterday, what's the next step for Joe? Um, Joe is expecting to. We're expecting Joe to be active with us on Wednesday. So he's, he only had four pitches, but that was just him being efficient? That was just Joe being Joe. So, uh, yeah, I, I still think the plan is for him to be back with his own money. You had mentioned Michael Grove will be back um, this homestand. Is that still a plan for, I guess, this series, or do you see him being on the road? Or um, I don't think that's going to happen on this series. Uh, I think originally that was the plan. Um, but... Uh, I think it's changed. It has changed. So I don't. I don't think Michael will be back with us uh, this this uh, this series right here. But uh, the hope is at some point soon he'll be back with us. What is he doing right now? I think he's. Uh, from what I understand, I think he. I, I don't know where he's. At. I think he's in Arizona. I think he is. But I'm not too sure. A lot of us keep track of him. A lot of moving pieces. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of moving pieces. Yeah. Oh, that's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dave, what have, uh, what have you guys seen just out of like, Max's defense the last couple of weeks? It seems like there's maybe been, like earlier in the year, a couple of misplays that have come back. Is it something you're worried about at all right now? Um, yeah, it, for it, early on, I, I think that uh, it wasn't good. Um, I think that the kind of uh, the field, the turf was uh, in flux at that point, um, and then it was really good. And yeah, the last uh, few weeks, uh, it hasn't been great, to be quite honest. Um, um, he's working really hard um, at cleaning some things up. Um, I think that. Uh, he hasn't been as good at getting off the baseball uh, as he typically is. And so with that, you tend to get some uh, some bad hops. But uh, that's stuff that I'm certain will be cleaned up because uh, I've seen him very good and very consistent. And um, the last couple, uh, two, three weeks, uh, it, for me, it's not uh, an indication of the type of defender he is. Is some of that with him maybe mental where mistakes can compound a little bit kind of over the course of a couple weeks span like that? I think it, I think some of it can be, but uh, he's mentally tough and uh, I, I, like I said, I, I don't expect it to, uh, I expect it to be cleaned up ASAP. What happened to the Chargers? <laughs> ran into a good offense. They, they ran into uh, Tyreek. <laughs> they were it's playing. I think Tyreek ran into them. <laughs> yeah, Ty yeah. yeah. He averaged 20 yards a catch. Well, Tyreek's a freak, man. You can't you can't cover him. He's too fast. They were they were playing a team motivated by a certain visitor at practice last week. That's what happened. Yeah, I gave my inspirational speech. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't.